some players that were standing out to me. Um, if you've listened to the show, Cedric Van Pran Granger is somebody that I'm very excited for, and I, I am intrigued to see what what his path looks like this year and going forward. Um, and as as far as my untrained eyes go for like watching offensive lineman stuff, um, he looked like he was pretty solid to me. Um, a little more stout maybe than Mitch Morse, a little bit more power. Um, and, and he, he was holding his own out there. Um, so I'm, I'm excited for him. Um, Kian Coleman and Josh Allen. I know that's the one everybody wants to know about, um, through kind of throwing against air when we got into team portions of things, um, the, the connection was there early and often. And, you know, when Coleman was drafted and he was kind of like this 50, 50 ball receiver, all that kind of stuff that was coming out about him. Um, if you listen to this show, you know, I have had my reservations about uh, Keon Coleman. Um, they were connecting all over the field. It looked like he was showing, you know, like a nice knowledge of where the soft spots were in the zone. He was running short, intermediate, deep routes, had some impressive catches. Um, through the early part of the team drills, it, it looked like he was already, you know, becoming th- that go-to option for Josh Allen. He was looking for him. They had a connection. Um, another one, Curtis Samuel. Um I've been very excited for this addition since it's happened. Um, I think he's a receiver that's got, you know, an amazing skill set and has been stuck with just really bad quarterback play for a long time. Uh, Teamed up again with Joe Brady. Uh, We're going to see this guy deployed in in all kinds of ways. Um, he was lining up outside, inside, taking carries from the backfield, screens out of the backfield, um, motions. He was moving all over the formation. Um, so, you know, maybe like wide receiver 1B, 1A, whatever you want to call it. Um, this, this is kind of like looking like the... Isaiah McKenzie role on steroids for me. And that's kind of something I've always wanted to see with the Bills. Um is just that guy that can hurt you with speed. He can hurt you anywhere on the field. And <clears throat> they're gonna give him his opportunities to go out there, get the ball, and create. Um, so super excited for when we go live in preseason and regular season just looking at the usage of Curtis Samuel and what he's going to be able to do with Josh Allen. Um, I think, I think a lot of people in Bill's mafia understand like how special that connection can be. I think when we get to like a national media level, um, the wide receiver group as a whole is really being slept on. Um, Not hearing a ton of people national media wise, you know, really talking about Curtis Samuel and what he can be as a receiver and, you know, what he's capable of with some actual NFL caliber quarterback play. Um, So super excited to see what that ends up looking like. Um, The other guy that kept catching my eye and uh, honestly being live in person and Seeing these dudes up close, it's kind of hard to ignore. Um, but Matt Collins, from you know how big he is to coming out on the field barefoot, he had his uh, undershirt, you know, all cut up and had frills on it. He was out there dancing, and then the the helmet came on and he started running routes and he was getting open all over the place and. It looked like a really great possession receiver out there. He had routes. He was getting open deep. Um, he was catching con- contested balls. Um, I think this one, for for me, 
was kind of like, uh, okay, this is, you know, Trent Shearfield replacement. You know, he's been a special teams captain everywhere. It's going to be, you know, your your high end special teams, you know, depth receiver. Um, and just watching him throughout practice, I, I think he's going to have a much bigger role than than I anticipated.